Hello everyone, we're going to do a video for you today working on our four skills again because we're looking at our shape of the week of a sphere. So I've got a sphere shape here and George has got his there as well. So choose a football, um, quite a large football would be best but whatever one that you've got available at home would be fine. If you do this inside you must be very very careful. Okay. Right we're going to start off, we're going to just have our ball, we're going to swap it between our hands. Pick your ball up George. We'll look to start with and swap it between our hands just like this okay it's just practicing you need to keep looking it doesn't matter if you drop it doesn't matter if you drop it just have a go at swapping it between your left and your right hand okay and then we're going to have a go ready george come here we're going to have a go at passing it behind our backs okay without dropping it that's the trick you can go slow when you get a bit better, you can go faster and faster. Oh, and then you can swap directions. So go the other way. Okay, go the other way. Go fast. Go fast then. Okay. And then we're going to have a go at trying to put it under your leg. And get it back out. And under your leg. Get it back out. Under your leg. Well done, George. Keep going. Under your leg. And then we'll swap and we'll try the other leg. The other leg. Whoop. So it doesn't matter if you drop them. It's a bit tricky with that leg, isn't it, George? Yeah. <laughs> keep trying now. It's always good to just keep trying. Practice makes perfect. That's it. Right. Now we're going to stretch up tall with your ball. Just do some exercise up. Down. Right, we're going to place our balls down on the floor. Put your ball down over here. Okay, and we're going to practice using just our feet. Let's go back a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some circles over the ball. Okay, so with the same foot, we're going to do it five times. Okay, ready? Two, three, four, five. Yeah. On the other foot, one. Two, three, four, be careful, five. five. Right, and now we're going to touch it with our foot in this balance on the one foot. Ready? Come on then, George. Balance on this foot. And we're going to go five touches. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to swap feet then and do five on this foot. One, two, three, four. Five. Right, what we're going to do now, if you've got somebody to do this with, it'll be great. So if you could do it with a sibling or a, or your grown-up. And we're going to practice. We only need one ball now between the two of us. And we're going to practice some dribbling. Now we practice this in PE. We don't use our hands now, just use our feet. And we dribble the ball, which means we kick it really slowly and keep control. And to stop the ball, we do just like what we've just practiced. So we put our foot on it. We don't pick it up. We've got our foot in it, okay? So you're going to practice, you can dribble in some circles, you can make some shapes on the floor with your dribbles, you could pass it to each other, it's up to you, okay? So you can invent your own little games. You could make your own obstacle course. Jump, George. You can place things on the floor, uh, a bit like when we've got the cones at school, and you could weave in and out with your, with your objects on the floor, or maybe if you've got some chalk, you could do your own obstacle course, and you could dribble your ball across there. So let's have a go at some dribbling then, George. Okay. okay, so dribble, we just use the inside, this part of your foot. Okay, so we don't need to kick it too hard. And we can dribble it whichever direction. And to stop the ball, we put our foot on it. Okay, that's how we stop. So those are a few exercises you can do for today. Okay, and I'll be back later on in the week to do a few more activities with you. Okay, say bye then, George. Bye.